Real estate is often seen as gold's competitor as the best hedge. However, Zillow seems to think that real estate can't really hold a candle to gold in that department. Well, at least not in some ways. The current rate increase may be pulling down real estate hard in some areas and potentially not so much in other areas. Last year's mortgage rate shock was so abrupt that researchers at Zillow had no choice but to repeatedly issue sharp downward revisions to their 12-month price outlook. In March of 2022, Zillow had been expecting home prices to rise 17.8% over the next 12 months. By December of 2022, however, that was slashed all the way down to a forecasted decline of 1.1%. This year, however, we're seeing mortgage rates stabilize around 6.5%. Among the 400 largest housing markets tracked by Zillow, the company expects 294 markets to see positive home price growth between March of 2023 and March of 2024, while it expects four markets to remain flat and home prices to fall over the next 12 months in 102 markets. In the next 12 months, Zillow expects the biggest home price uptick in markets like like Knoxville, Tennessee, Savannah, Georgia, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Johnson City, Tennessee, and Wilmington, North Carolina. Simply put, Zillow's forecast model expects a great deal of strength in the U.S. Southwest. However, Zillow economists expect home price declines to occur in nine markets, San Francisco, Boulder, Denver, Reno, Nevada, and Las Vegas. Two other groups didn't share the same view. Moody's Analytics expects national home prices to fall 4.2% this year. Fannie Mae, a government-sponsored housing corporation created during the Great Depression, expects national home prices to fall 1.2%. Among the down markets, the majority are located in the western half of the country. Why? Because western housing markets are hyper-rate sensitive. Not only does the West have a high concentration of rate-sensitive tech employers, but we also have sky-high home prices that are vulnerable to mortgage rate spikes. Real estate is so expensive that even when the mortgage rate uh, was close to nothing, people were still struggling to purchase a home. Just want to make it clear that I'm not discouraging you from investing in real estate, and I personally do invest in real estate. Just know, just make sure you know the place where it is in your portfolio, and make sure that you're well diversified. Don't rely on real estate alone. And if you want to hedge, look at something like gold. Now, I will tell you, in terms of Zillow predicting price increases in a few hundred places in the country, I wonder if that data helps them sell homes. I, I'm just saying. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.